Sometimes referred to as the Jackie Robinson of professional bull riding, Murtis Deitman made history in 1964 when he became the first African American to compete in the National Finals Rodeo. He would qualify for the NFR six more times in a brilliant career that spanned three decades. Deitman competed in that first NFR as an injury replacement for Carl Nasker after finishing 17th in the regular season rankings. Two years later, 1966, Deitman made history again by becoming the first African American to qualify for and compete at the NFR. He finished eighth in the world standings that season. In 1967 and 68, Deitman finished third and fourth in the final bull riding world standings and was seventh in 1972 when he made his last NFR appearance. Deitman won numerous major rodeos in his career, including the Calgary Stampede in 1971 and Cheyenne Frontier Days in 1972. His success in the arena led to Deitman being featured in advertisements as the Black Marlboro Man, and he played a bull rider in the movie J.W. Coop with Cliff Robertson, and had a small role in the movie Junior Bonner starring Steve McQueen. Deitman began his rodeo career as a clown and bullfighter, but it wasn't long before he tried his hand at bull riding. Murtis Deitman was a trailblazer, and his skill and determination have earned him a place in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.